Hello and welcome back to Apple Tree Allotment. I've come down here this evening. It's the middle of July now. It's still still pretty warm. We're getting days of like 20, 23, 25 degrees. So it's quite warm and humid for for the UK. Um, but there's lots going on today and a few jobs to do. Um, it's that lovely time of year where we start to get to harvest some good stuff and uh, start to get one eye on the uh, autumn as well. So yeah, I'll have you show you around, show you what jobs we're going to do and uh, hopefully get around to, to sew in some more things today. So looking at this end up near the, the kitchen, we've got our pumpkins. The left bed is still doing much better and they have actually grown a lot this week. I'm quite pleased with these. They're, uh, they're putting on some good, good uh, vines. I think they're going to be some good plants that side. This side, one of them I think is a lost cause, this first one. I think I've got one more at home that I might be able to bring down and plant. I'm not too fussed because they are actually big plants, so they can always use the space up anyway. I might even plant something like spring onions or radish or something to fill up the space for a couple of weeks. Um, but the other two, the one at the end actually is looking pretty good, starting to go nicely middle one not quite so good but hopefully it'll make it we'll keep an eye on it make sure it gets lots of water um yes yeah, so i'm quite quite happy with them too um our three sisters beds really pleased with these this year the corn's starting to get nice and high um it's growing nice really nice color nice green um the beans i can see lots of nice beans switch over this side i've just spotted these ones along here they're getting quite quite high but keeping a nice size so they don't overrun the uh, the uh, sweet corn um, this one's got two up it so yeah I'll see hopefully they'll naturally start um, sort of going up the plants some little one just here so yeah it's really getting nice and close hopefully it'll twine around the sweet corn um, and the pumpkins in here are doing really well. These two are a bit smaller, but looking nice. The ones on this side were bigger when I planted them. They're already starting to get quite long. Uh, but yeah, the one this end particularly already has fruit on it and is already a good six foot or more long. So that's gonna be massive probably. But we've got some nice fruit. We've got a really nice one here. Um, there's two. That one, that one isn't looking so good. That's, that's gone a bit soft and mouldy. But the other ones are looking good. Yeah, so, that's, so I'm really pleased with that bed. They're doing well. Broad beans are still plodding and podding along. <laughs> Lots of new beans. So I'll take some more of these tonight. We need to do something with, we've still got some from last week. Um, I think we'll have to do a curry or something and use them up. So they're getting quite prolific. Um, at the back here, we've got our, our butternut squash still not looking very happy. I don't know if they're going to put a push on or not. But we've got lots of pumpkins, if not, this year. We had loads of squash last year. Maybe this year will be the pumpkin year. Um, the two courgettes, so we've got the yellow one this year at this end. It's doing nicely. It's got a nice little, little one on it. I'll leave that for a few days. I might pick this one. So it doesn't get too big, it's a nice little size. I might pick that one today. Um, got our tomatoes, let's have a look at our tomatoes. Uh, one big, nice juicy tomato, still growing away. I don't know if there's any more. There's lots of flowers starting to come and they're starting to push up nicely. Do you need to really need to get a support for this one though? So I might have a scounge around, see if I can find a, a long stick to put up that. Um, over here, our courgettes, our other courgettes, um, the green one's doing really well. It's still caught up. The other, last week, the yellow one was doing better. There's a good, really good courgette there and there. So I'll get those two off tonight. There's another few growing on there for, no, for next week. Um, and the yellow one, a couple there. I might, I might leave that one. And I might regret that if it gets massive. I know at home we've got three or four to harvest 
so yeah I might even end up freezing some of them um, yeah so one of the jobs tonight is to harvest those so harvest the, some broad beans harvest courgettes water um, and then the last job or one last two jobs um, harvest the rest of this bed over here of first early potatoes I've got one more row at the back um, to harvest we're still eating the ones we harvested last week from here actually we had jacket potatoes today from them that were really nice um, yeah so I'll get the rest of those out fill the drawer potato drawer up um, we've still got this other bed of first earlies and then I'll show you the packet I was going to get that bed back into use straight away over here I've got um, this packet of seeds so mange two peas so they can go out until July I'll sneak in at the end of that um, and hopefully I'll be ready until sort of the end of August it says 7 to 21 days to appear and then be a few weeks after that so yeah I'm gonna get I'm gonna plant them up in that bed hopefully they'll come up um, that would be very nice yeah so I'm, I'm gonna start doing those jobs and I'll show you the the peas and the harvest in a moment Here's the little potato haul. So these were three plants. Um, so some big ones, good ones. There's, there's a massive, a massive one. And a few big ones. Um, yeah, so there's certainly a couple of dinners worth there. I'm quite happy with that. Not quite as um, good harvest from this, this type as there was from uh, the ones I did last year. Um, but they're pretty good, nice potatoes. They taste nice. So I'm happy with that. They were Maris Bard uh, first earlies, in case you were wondering. Um, so I've spread my peas out, my Monge 2 peas. Um, so I'm not going to put them in little, pretty little rows. Um, I probably won't really support them in, as in with loads of canes or anything like that. I'll probably just um, let them grow up and do their thing. Maybe put a couple of sticks in just to hold them, hold them in place. Um, but yeah, we'll see how they grow. So I've just, that's the whole packet. I've just scattered them out. Um, and I'm just going to poke them in with my finger. It says about five centimetres down, I think. So yeah, I'm just going to give them a, a push in the soil. Um, and I'll give it a good water when I do the rest of the, the allotment. That's all the peas pushed in now. All nice under the soil. I found this um, grid that I was using for the kale a little while ago. So I just thought I'd put that over just to try and stop some of the birds and things eating the uh, seeds while they get started. Um, doesn't quite cover it all, but you never know, it might help. So yeah, I've got that on. Um, next job, I go up here, past the potatoes and harvest these courgettes. I've got my little, little pen knife. So I'm gonna take these these two slightly bigger ones, because otherwise they'll be monsters by the time we uh, come back again. Get those two off. That's one. one there. And there's a nice one with a flower on as well. And then I'm going to leave, leave these yellow ones. That might get quite big, but let's, let's see. Um, there's also another one there that will probably be ready well probably three or four days I think depends how hot it gets I guess but yeah certainly another good harvest next time we come down I'll just walk over the other side and harvest the other two next up is these uh, raw beans I keep thinking they're they're pretty much done for the year but they keep they keep producing more which is a uh, not a bad problem to have. So yeah, I'm gonna pick a few of these. Just check and see how big the pods are. One of one of some of them we picked were uh, were quite small. Um, the actual the actual pea the beans inside them. Um, these ones seem okay. Perhaps they're they're a bit later, so they're a bit a bit better. We've been roasting them and and just having them as a little treats so you can I can't, I can't remember what you call them when you get them from the shops but they uh, 
you can buy them as sort of roasted and salted beans. Um, yeah, but it's quite a nice, quite a few on here. I'll leave some of these smaller ones for next time. There's, there's certainly plenty on here. our harvest tonight of broad beans. They're a good size now, quite long. So hopefully the beans will be getting a bit bigger. There's my courgettes. I, I left one of them because it was a, I think I'll leave it till next week. They just get a little bit bigger. One year we did, when I, we had an old allotment years ago. We never got time because we were working quite a way away. So we didn't get much to do on it, but we uh, we did do well with broad beans. And I remember we had uh, basically filled our entire freezer with broad beans. So it's always quite a joke in our house when I say I've got a lot of broad beans to bring back. Um, yeah. So one more job, I think, is just to uh, water everything. It has been raining a little bit, but I think it's just been sort of drizzle, so it hasn't hasn't quite soaked the earth as I'd hoped it would. Um, this is sort of wet. It is it's semi damp, but. Just give it a bit more it has been quite warm we never got the rain today that we were promised so, uh, yeah i'll do some watering found someone looking for my new peas already so he can go for a little walk over the fence That's it for tonight. Starting to slightly drizzle. Well, it's slightly ironic when you're watering. But I don't think it's gonna do much. It's still fairly bright. I'm still glad I watered at least a bit. Um, yeah, so that's it for tonight. I hope you're all doing well. Still keeping well and uh, getting lots of harvest from your allotment too. Got this, uh, looking forward to starting on this other bed of potatoes first earlies in about a week's time yeah i think we might even get some hail going on so i'm gonna quickly leg it to the car yeah thanks for watching and i hope to talk to you soon